which she still receives today. Now, due to her cancer treatment, she suffered hair loss and decided to purchase a wig with the help of a new grant scheme available to those with hair loss. Mary Menton joins us now. Mary, you look gorgeous. Thanks for being with Good us morning, this morning. Mary. Good morning, Mary. How are you? Simon. Good morning, Granny. And I'd worked in Donnybrook and um, I knew about the hair club in Donnybrook. And uh, I'd often thought of actually going in and getting a wig even before I needed it, mm. but never did. And it's funny what you do when you have to. So I, I went and made an appointment, met Dolores, um, and the whole service that they provide has been absolutely amazing. Um, when I, from the moment I went in, they know everything about wigs. They know what suits you, mm. you know, ask you photographs of what your hair was like, um, you know, how important it is. Um, how light it is, how much human hair is in it. These are all of the aspects that they go through in great detail. And things that you wouldn't have known anything about. So Absolutely. You, you need to be much like your treatment. You need to be yeah. walked through the process. Yeah and told what your options are. Yeah, absolutely. And you wouldn't realise that there's so much to it. And yeah. the main thing was that the whole experience there was so welcoming. Yeah. Um, it was relaxing, it was kind, and it was expert. And then I discovered that they provide the entire service in that they, I was able to get my head shaved there, which was so beautifully done. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I'd chosen the wig, so when they shaved my head, the chair was turned back from the mirror, so I didn't see it happening. Yeah. And it was all very easy. So you didn't get that shock. And I turned around and I had the wig on. OK. And wow. that got me through that really difficult um, moment. I was going to ask you, what, what has it done for you, for, for just for yourself? Yeah. It has made a huge difference really? because this is the hair I always wanted. <laughs> 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 My hair was never fantastic, as, as, as you see. But, yeah. um, so I was <clears throat> so happy. It actually carried me through. Mm. And then I'd go in for chemo and the nurse would say, did you not lose your hair? And I said, yeah, I wow. did. I, and even up close, some of the oncology nurses did, couldn't tell it was a wig. So I, That's amazing. That was fantastic. There is a grant as well to do with this, uh, Mary, isn't there, towards the cost of yeah. wigs for people who that's, go through hair loss. That's the way. important thing because, again, the hair club did that for me. I literally gave them my PPS number. Um, Dolores filled out the forms. I got a note from my GP. And the grant, which is a maximum of 500 per year, um, which is fantastic, yeah. uh, was through in about two weeks. So the Department of Social Welfare were amazing in that um, it all just worked so easily and it was all handled on my behalf.